Now let's come to question 48. This is a rather simple question, a simple probability question. Now we are given that there are three brands of chocolates, A, B and C. And there are four testers, let's say T1 to T4. Each tester tastes these chocolates and assigns ranks. The ranks can be 1, 2 or 3. But the tester can't really distinguish between the tastes of these chocolates. Therefore, he's assigning the rank randomly. So, and once all the four testers have assigned a rank, all the ranks are summed up to assign a particular uh, rank to a given chocolate. Now, we are asked what is the probability of obtaining a rank 4? Well, now it's very easy to see that a rank 4 can be obtained only if all the testers rank the chocolates 1. Now, the probability of that happening is given the fact that the testers rank these chocolates independently is just a, some, a multiplication of all the probabilities that the testers rank the chocolates 1. And since testers are doing that randomly, the probability of assigning to chocolates rank 1 is 1 by 3. Therefore, the total probability is just 1 by 3 multiplied 4 times, that is 1 by 81. And that's the answer. Okay, I'm coming to question 49. Well, this is a pretty standard question uh, which one asks from the Bayes rule and the property of total, uh, the total probability property. Uh, we are given that uh, there is a uh, test for tuberculosis. Uh, let's represent the outcome of the test by a random variable x. It can either be positive or negative. And out of the population, a person can have actually have TB or he may not have TB. And let's represent that by a random variable y, which can either he, be, he can have TB or he can have no TB. Now, we are given uh, the following probabilities. The probability that a person can actually have TB in the population is 1 out of every 1000, that is 0 0.001. And the probability that the test will actually result in a positive test, given that the person actually has TB, is given to be 0 0.999, and that is quite accurate. And the probability that the X will be positive, given that the person does not have TB, that is a false positive, is 0 0.002. And the question asks, what is the probability that the person actually has TB? And uh, that is, they are asking us the probability of y is equal to t, that is a person actually having TB, given that x is positive. So, we know that from the property of conditional probability, this is given by the probability of y is equal to t over the probability of x is equal to positive. Now, since we know from the given probabilities, the conditional probabilities of x is equal to positive, we use Bayes rule, well known Bayes rule, that is probability of x is equal to positive will be the probability of x is equal to positive conditional on y is equal to true multiplied by the probability of y is equal to t, that is y is equal to tb, plus the same for y is equal to n. And by substituting the values, we get the answer that is the, the probability that the person actually has TB given that the test has returned positive is 1 over 3 and that is uh, quite a low probability given, given that the test is actually very accurate. So this is you know the magic of the Bayes rule and the conditional probability. Okay, uh, coming to question 50. Uh, this is again a straightforward question. Uh, we are given a random variable x which has a mu which has mean mu x and variance sigma x square and they give with the condition that the probability of mu x minus 2 sigma that is x lying between the range mu x minus 2 sigma and mu x plus 2 sigma is actually 0.6 well let's first see whether this can actually happen i mean uh, for any distribution one can intuitively see that 
you know, this is actually a very large range for values, two sigma, two standard deviations. The first thing that should come to our mind is are the two inequalities. One is Markov inequality and the other is Chebyshev's inequality. And it is, it is using Chebyshev's inequality will show that this actually is not possible because the 0.6 is too less a probability for any random variable to take between these two given values that is for the for the following range for the given range x cannot take a probability which is as low as 0.6 now Chebyshev's inequality as shown here is probability of the modulus of x minus expected value of x being greater than a value of t is always less than the variance of x over t square. Now since uh, this can be represented as the probability of modulus of x minus mu x being less than or equal to 2 sigma x, we can convert this Chebyshev inequality as 1 minus probability of x minus mu x greater than equal to 2 sigma x and by, by substituting the value of t is equal to sigma x square and variance of x being sigma sigma x sorry substituting the value of sigma x we see that the value the minimum value that this probability can take is actually 0.75 that is this probability should be always greater than or equal to 0.75 and we are given that this is 0.6 which is not the case therefore the correct answer is the option 4 that the given statement is false